Hi, this is Miss Torres, and today I am going to read you the nonfiction story called Cultural Festivals. Celebrating the seasons, giving thanks, being with friends and family. People do all of these things during cultural festivals. Festivals are times to celebrate events or holidays that are important to different cultures around the world. People come together at a festival to enjoy delicious food, beautiful decorations, music, and dancing. Some festivals last for one day, while others last for more than a week. In some places, stores close and people stay home from school or from work to celebrate with friends and family. People also celebrate festivals to honor important events in their culture's history. Giving gifts or eating certain foods is part of every festival around the world. People from many different cultures celebrate festivals in the United States every year. Cinco de Mayo is a holiday that is celebrated in Mexico. The name of this holiday means 5th of May in Spanish. It celebrates the date that the Mexican army won an important battle many years ago. In the United States, people who celebrate Cinco de Mayo often march in parades and gather together to listen to mariachi music. A mariachi band has violins, trumpets, and a guitar. During Cinco de Mayo, people dance in the streets to this lively music. People often visit street fairs during Cinco de Mayo. There, they can buy traditional Mexican food, such as tacos, spicy tortilla soup, and guacamole. There are also vegetables and plenty of fresh salsa. People make special foods at home too. Celebrating Cinco de Mayo festivals is one way that people show that they are proud of their culture. People often display the Mexican flag outside their homes on this day. In India, people celebrate a festival called Diwali or the Festival of Lights. People celebrate this festival for different reasons. Some people celebrate an important event in India's history. Others celebrate good luck for the new year. Diwali celebrations take place in many countries in the world. People celebrate Diwali for five days. On the first day, people clean their homes. On the second day, they decorate their homes with lamps. Then on the third day, they light the lamps and candles. At night, they watch colorful fireworks light up the sky. During the last two days of Diwali, people visit their friends and family. Together, they share a feast of traditional Indian food. Another important Indian tradition during Diwali is giving gifts to friends and family. Often, these gifts are sweets or flowers made from gold and silver. People also exchange candles and clay lamps. People also celebrate Diwali by playing games with their friends or family. The winners feel lucky. If you lose, you can look forward to winning a game at next year's Diwali festival. Tet is a celebration in Vietnam to welcome the new year. It is a joyful time when people appreciate everything that is new in their lives and in the world. To get ready for Tet, people clean and decorate their homes. They might even paint the outside so it looks fresh and clean. People also buy new clothes. On Tet, people prefer to decorate the doors of their homes with a red ribbon. They believe that the color red can keep them safe. For this reason, parents often give their children money in red envelopes. Parades and traditional dances take place on the first day of Tet. These special celebrations can continue for a week. During one Tet parade, People wear masks while they dance in the street. After the parade, families gather together to eat traditional foods from Vietnam. These foods include fruit and sticky rice cakes. Tet is a special in another way too. Each new year is named after a different animal. Children in Vietnam don't always say the year they were born. Instead, they might say they were born in the year of the goat. Now you are going to practice your reading comprehension skills by retelling the story, using the pictures to tell what you see. Feel free to pause the video to answer the questions and then press play when you are ready to move on to the next one. 
Card one. What are the people doing? What do you notice about the festivals? Card two. What do people do on Cinco de Mayo? Card three. What is one way that people celebrate Diwali? What do people do in their homes? Card four. What color do we see during Tet? What is happening during the parade? Thanks for watching and learning about cultural festivals.